Welcome to this tutorial on how to activate your Cisco account, reset your password, and reset expired token. Ensure you have your mobile phone or your laptop fully charged with stable internet connection. If you are ready, let's get started. So I'm using my browser. So yours could be your phone and you are using your mobile app you go to your gmail account mine i go to my gmail account i can click gmail.com so it's gonna load great okay so i have not this particular account, I just want to log in to the particular account I want to use. I click. So I type my username. You don't need to do this because you already have your email address signed on your phone. So what you need to do is just to straight go to your mobile app, Gmail mobile app and get started login my password I click to log me in so it's taking time to log me in based on my the speed of my internet connection so great so here is my don't know switch so this is my academy i click activate account i click activate account so i have clicked it before so when you click it's gonna load on this page you type your new password you might decide to forge any password or to formulate any password or something like cross capitating one two three at so I'm using So I click create account. At this point, it might waste time a bit. So it's moving. Great. So it's, it's work. It has worked. So I recommend you save your password so you can always go there. Now you can see it has brought me to my profile page. At this profile page, if your name is not complete, like during onboarding, you were only onboarded with your first name and your last name. So this is an opportunity for you to edit the name. So if your middle name was not captured, please write your middle name here. So now you come to the month of birth, you check your month, depending. So I just decided to check 1985. Then, for instance, that's come down. Then, gender, I choose male. No disability. Then, level of experience, you can choose less than one year. Then, you click and click create account. So, basically, this is the simplest way to create to create your account as soon as you click the link so I think that is pretty very 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 fast so next thing you need to do is login as it's loading login to NetAcard using your browser if you're using Chrome we recommend you use Chrome or you, you use 
uh, Mozilla Firefox. I'm, I'm not sure of. Um, I'm not sure of this Opera Mini. So you can launch your course straight from this point, but I don't want you to be confused. So you go down. This is Introduction to Cyber Security. You click on the course. The learning has started. So when you click on it, this course is going to load. You see the more different models. Great. So you see different chapters. Chapter 1, Chapter 2. So all this. I don't want to go through the tour. I can click Launch Chapter 1. So if I want to follow the tour, I can click my first time on this course. It will take me through the tour. But I just want to go straight. I can launch my Chapter 1 and then follow the screen instruction. So next time, what if you stop and you next time you want to continue, you log on to back to net a card n e t a c a d dot com net a card dot com i said n e n e t a c a d dot com so you come to this very point login at the login point if your token has expired you have not activated or it has you have not activated before it expired please what you need to do is you click at this very point reset recent activation email recent activation email when activation email opens the same way you can click forget password so so great, it's loading. So because I'm already here, I've already logged in with this. So it's not bringing me, it's not bringing me where I will put reset that uh, activation email. But if you have not logged in, it will bring you a bar like this. Just type in the email address we onboarded you with. So. When you click it, they will send you activation email. It will you go back to your email and then it will come back there and say welcome to networking academy. Then you click it and you are good to go. So you follow the the first process of activating your account. So the same thing, if you want to reset your password, you follow the same way by you don't you click on that login and then you will see forgot password click on it enter your email address that is only if you have activated your account before and you forgot your password but if you have not activated before your token expired you need to click resend activation email so when that is done then yeah, you start your course where you must have finished all the models when you launch the course and finish all the models remember to come to your profile here this is your profile this is certificate and letters you click on certificate and letters if you have earned the certificate you'll be able to find the certificate here at this point you will see the number of certificate you have acquired if you have completed the course if you have not completed it to be showing you zero as mine is showing me zero I believe this is pretty very straightforward so uh, stay tuned more videos will be coming thank you